across the board, whether it's a big TV show or a documentary, there is always somehow a reason that we need to get into a small space. The qualifiers of this camera that, that makes it different from all of the other cameras that people have been trying to make sure to get on FPV drones is its form factor, the weight, and of course the amazing quality footage that it can capture. My initial reaction to this camera was, wow, they have finally created something that can capture all my beauty. It's a lot going on. So to get a camera that can capture literally all of me on a streaming platform, they, they hit the nail on the head with this one. So with this pandemic that has hit, it has been very tough to be in the live event business. The shift or the opportunity that comes is of course virtual to have the ability to take the same camera that we would shoot live events and then go virtual and do an online experience with the same camera, game changer. So with all cameras, you have drawbacks on one side or the other. You can either have a camera whose image quality is amazing, but the ergonomics are not. Or on the other side of that, you have a camera that might be sort of built for ergonomics, but the image quality is lacking. So to have something that takes both of those things and puts it all into one little box is helpful. The box camera from Panasonic is very unique uh, in the sense that it's, it's, it's perfectly suited for a multitude of different things. I mean, you could use it on small gimbals, um, car mounts, obviously, inside and outside, and drone definitely being one of them. You know, it's the most ergonomic camera I've ever used on a drone. The box camera is the first time that I've seen the components that we need, SDI cables, the inputs, the gen lock, the fact that we have all of those components and be able to plug in an ethernet cable into this camera, it's a huge, huge thing for our business. I like the fact that I can take this box and custom build my own system, and it's just a perfect opportunity for us to get the most out of a camera, both live and virtually. When you've been working with DSLRs and then you go to a front-facing camera on your laptop, you, you're literally going back to like 720. To have something that could, you know, take your, your, your content to eons above where it currently is, just on quality alone, but not have to sacrifice that space is a game changer. The build quality of this camera is incredible. It felt like something that was tough that you could still play with. You know, it's a toy, but it's a, it's a solid toy. Action cameras are designed to take a beat, to be there in the middle of the action. Cinema grade cameras are frail. This is the first step into a cinema grade camera that is built solid and can take a beating and it applies perfect to what we're doing here. With this camera, they've broken it down so you've got the simplest aspect of what a camera is. And what that's doing is magnifying the possibilities for the cinematographer using it. Not every job that we do is the same. So the fact that we were able to go shoot a scene in a movie and then use that same camera to go do a multi-cam live event and use that same camera to go shoot a commercial, I've never seen anything like it. Panasonic.